We are working on lesson two today, and this is in our Word Problems Grade 1 Kumon book. So open up to lesson two. You should see the number right here. It's at the beginning of the book, so it should be pretty easy to find. Okay, so remember, I'm going to read these sentences to you, and then you're going to start doing the work. I'm going to give you some times where I need you to pause the video so you can finish the work by yourself and then just come back and check it. So let's do a couple together, and then I'm gonna let you do them all on your own. So number one, if three apples and two apples are put together, there are five apples in all. Write this number sentence below. So when we take a word problem, and we turn it into an equation, it's called a number sentence. That's what we're gonna practice here is this number sentence for addition. So the story says there are three apples and two apples. Three apples, so we can trace it, plus two apples is equal to five apples. Three apples plus two apples equals five apples. This number sentence helps you to see what this picture means. It's like having a big plus right here in the middle of our pictures. Three apples plus two apples equals five apples all together. All right, let's do the next one together. Continue to write number sentences about the pictures below. Here's our picture one. If five pencils and three pencils are put together, there are eight pencils. So here's our number sentence. Five plus three is equal to eight. So we're adding with word problems. If two eggs and five eggs are put together, so two eggs here plus five eggs here, to get all together, there are seven eggs. Two eggs plus five eggs equals seven eggs. Okay, I'm going to read this one for you and you're going to write this number sentence all by yourself. If four fish and two fish are put together, there are six fish. Write the numbers. four fish and there's our plus word two fish put together equals six fish look at all the colorful sheets of paper i'll read this one and then you can do the work if three sheets of paper and four sheets of paper are put together there are seven sheets of paper Three sheets plus four sheets equals three sheets plus four sheets equals seven sheets. How did you do? Did you get them all? If you didn't get them, fix them so they look like mine. If your work looks like mine, you are ready to move on. So if you need to fix it, pause the video. We're starting here with number three. Write number sentences about the pictures below. Okay. In the middle, they put these green circles and they say all together there are, do you see that? All together there are. All together there are, all together there are, all together there are. 
So when you're talking about a group of things that you've put together, that's all together. That means adding. This is another way of saying, add this group and this group. Write the number sentences. So you have to look at the pictures and decide what's the number. One, two, three, four. That's my first number, four. One, two, three. That's my second number, three. All together, that means both numbers together. Four, five, six, seven. Seven, I can practice my counting on when I'm doing this work. Okay, look, they gave you a clue about the first one. How many children? Three. How many children? Five. All together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three plus five equals eight. Okay, you have two birds and four birds, four dogs and five dogs, six apples and four apples. Write your number sentences and then we're going to check it. So pause the video. All right. You should have all of your sentences here. Two plus four equals six. Did you get it right? Four plus five equals nine. How did you do? Six plus four equals 10. If you didn't get yours right, if your work does not look like mine, erase it and fix it. Erase it and fix it. So pause the video and fix the work if it doesn't look like mine. As soon as your work looks like mine, you've done an excellent job. Give yourself that 100 points at the tippy top. Nice work.